What's up guys? I hope everyone's having a good week and looking forward to their weekend. So just a quick update, one week in. Um, so one week in yesterday from my surgery. So for those of you following, it's, it was an ACL reconstruction and I had uh, two meniscus tears. So they stitched up and tried to fix the meniscus as well. Um, so just a recap of the week basically. Um, I'm healing very, very quick. Uh, I've been able to go to work this week. I have been taking it very easy. I'm not being an idiot and going overboard, but I've uh, just been trying to get out of the house to keep me, sa keep me sane. Um, I've also made it very productive time-wise. So instead of, I have watched some documentaries on Netflix, uh, of course, but I've also used this time to get up with, uh, with a lot of jobs that I needed to do, things like my accounts, obviously running your own business. So a couple of quick messages from me from one week in, uh, utilize your time wisely, okay? We're, our time is limited on this planet. Um, know what your focus and goals are, and just because you may have a setback, you may be injured, um, you may have had something knock you down, remember that your time is probably one of the most valuable things you have on this earth. Um, and if you want to get somewhere in life, then you need to manage your time wisely and ask yourself, Am I doing the things in the time that I have that's going to help me get to my end goal? Um, another key thing is also gratitude. So I think uh, examples like this, so when you get injured, it makes you realize how much you take it for granted each and every day just to have an able body, um, to be able to you know, walk, uh, to be able to shower, to be able to do all the things that you, you know, we, take, we take for granted basically. Um, so I think, not saying to wish this upon anyone, but I do think having a cold or having an illness or an injury, it makes us realize how fortunate we are. So um, just a quick message to try and stay focused and also remember each and every day how lucky you are just to have, um, you, to be able to do the things that you want to do. All right, so try and wake up with, in the morning with a smile on your face. Uh, I think there's a lot of people in the world who aren't, even as blessed and lucky as you to be able to have four limbs and to be able to walk in around, um, you know, and obviously in a lot of other parts of the world, people are living in pain every single day of their life. So always remember how fortunate that you are uh, and don't put that to the wayside, okay? As I said, remember, put it to good use. Your body is meant to be fit, it's meant to be healthy, it's meant to be strong. Um, and that's my final point is that yes, I may uh, be unable to walk, but I still managed to get to the gym and train three times this week. Uh, I haven't been overdoing it. I've been keeping it uh, a bit lighter weights and obviously not been doing anything lower body, but I still utilize the time well. I've managed to get in. I've used the machines. I've changed up my training regime. Um, I've been using more uh, of the machines that I don't have to obviously load up too much. Been getting other people to help me. but. There is absolutely no excuse. Um, I've still been busy and I've still found time to train. You know, training doesn't have to be hours and hours, you know, whether it's a 30 minute session here or there, making the most of your time. So that leads on to obviously, I think the reason that I'm blessed is that because I've put the work in and I've made myself a fit individual before going into the surgery, that's going to massively play a part in my recovery. Um, and I think the healing process is going to happen so much quicker. Uh, and also just the fact of being able to get around on crutches is not an easy thing. So keeping yourself in shape, it gives you the best possibilities, whether that's as an athlete or whether that's recovering from an injury. Um, make that a life lesson and make that something that you invest more of your time into if you're not already is your personal health because that should be your number one priority uh your health and your happiness are very much linked and the healthier you are the fitter you are the happier you will be and i'm looking forward to putting the time and effort into getting my fitness back to where i want it to be um so stay tuned and follow follow the journey because 